everybody. It is November 9th, 2023, 10 a.m. in the morning on Thursday. Yay. Still no rain. Yeah, no rain over here yet. So, um, FYI, uh, burn ban in effect all over the state of Alabama as of right now, which sucks for us because we have a lot of leaves we got to burn. But It's too dangerous. Uh, yeah, too dangerous, too, uh, too, too dry. Uh, all right, so on to some other things right now. Uh, Halloween's over, everybody. Uh, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving coming up, and then the Christmas holidays, and then winter's upon us. Or I like to, or I like to sit there and say is because Christmas pretty much lasts like two months here at our house. Uh, I am not even lying. We keep Christmas stuff up through uh, January. You might think that's stupid, but January is dep- is a depressing month. So we keep all that stuff up to keep us cheered up and finish up all the Christmas stuff we didn't watch. Yeah, because yeah, we really did. Have a ton. Yeah, we always do. We actually, seriously, everybody, we watch Christmas stuff all the way till uh, February. It helps us out. Okay, uh, no numbers on any new films, everybody, because we haven't seen anything. Uh, now, everything's been kind of quiet. Yeah, the writer strike had a lot to do with that. Yeah, the writer strike supposedly they came up with a new deal, and I found out what it was. Is the reason why the uh, no, it wasn't the writers. It was the SAG strike. Okay. Uh, the reason why they uh, they disagreed to it was not the money. It was the fact is they were saying, well, you're an actor. We own your likeness. And, it's just kind of, and we can use it however we want to. That means we own your face. And now, and your body, and your voice. Now, I'm sorry, but that could come across as slavery. I hadn't thought of it like that, but you're right. I was thinking of something else. I, I won't chase that rabbit. No, you're right. It could be classified as a type of slavery. You have no rights. We own you. Yeah, we, we own it. You know, I, I wonder if I need to post that. You know what? I think I will. I think I'll post that on my on, on my ex for Twitter. Well, I'm sure that there's some people that will love it and others that will hate it. But I don't care. You get more likes than hates. No, I'm it's, a, it's the truth. It's the truth. There's a lot of things I don't agree with Hollywood, everybody, and everything, but owning the right likeness is right and fair. Is fair. fair. All right. That is. Mm-mm. Okay, so, I mean, there's that going on, which is hurting a lot of things. Uh, supposedly, um, the there's the ending to Attack on Titan that's finally been released. What, 10 years later? Uh, yeah, 10 years later. Yeah, I'll joke inside 10 years later. Uh, Most people, and there's probably people out there saying, what's Attack on Titan? I've never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Mr. Beast uh, builds 100 wells in Africa, attracting parades and some criticism. That's what we talked about that. A little bit earlier, if you guys don't know, Mr. Beast is one uh, is the top grossing YouTuber in the world. Um, I know some people don't like his content because he gets a little like stupid and crazy, but he does do a lot of good charity work, and he built a hundred wells in Africa. And I think, and I think he recorded it for his YouTube page. I'm not 100 percent positive, but it's actually it would be a smart thing to record it for your YouTube page. It really would. One, it would help increase your brand, and two, the the money revenue that would come from you. You know what I'm saying? You build the actual, like, water wells. water wells would help offset some of the cost of building the water wells. I mean, it, it's a good... He could build some more. Right. There's uh, people that don't have any fresh water. Just imagine. And you're all the time flushing it and bathing it, and they don't even have enough to drink. Yeah. So, you know, that's one of the things right there. Now, uh... I empathize with them folks. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else has uh, been going on. Um... Of course, everybody, the Marvels uh, releases tomorrow. Now, we will go see it. Um, I don't think it'll be next week. I think it might be the week of Thanksgiving. Okay. I'll, I'll, well, I'll, whatever. We'll figure that out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Everyone, we're going to go see it in IMAX, okay? That, that's not the issue. I, I, it's just a lot of stuff going on right now with work in, here at the house, so it's kind of... Yay. Uh, excuse me about that. Got a little runny nose from working on some stuff outside today. 
Let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, I can't think of anything really going on video. Oh, uh, video game news. Um, it was announced that Sony is uh, going to be making a live-action Zelda film, Legend of Zelda. That now, could be interesting. Yeah, I'm a little. Or it could be a dud. It could be a dud. I know Nintendo is very much working closely with it. Uh, they're just not going to let Sony r run with it now. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's the only thing that worries me because I know how Sony is. Um, you know, especially since it moved to uh, over here in California. You know, mm -hmm. in the United States, Silicon Valley. Uh, I'm worried because. The Legend of Zelda is such a beloved franchise, and both all around the world, it is what smirch the franchise. And yes, Zelda in the series has gone from being the typical rescued princess to becoming more stronger. Uh, which which it depends on the, which incarnation of Zelda it is, which version of Zelda in the timeline. Okay, uh, which that does not bother me. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that they they do link right, uh, but with uh, what? Yeah, do link right. Really? I don't make him a dork. Really? If I if I'm gonna be all joking aside, I kind of hope they might get Peter Jackson to come in because you know he did the Lord of the Rings. He'd mm -hmm. be the perfect person to do that. It's kind of like a Snow White story in a way. Yeah, but I mean, it, this will be more of an original because every Zelda, if you guys know, except for a couple that are like actually sequels, which are, there are a yeah. couple, but every Zelda, now, as you guys know, every Zelda is linked into a timeline, okay? Yes. Um, you know, where there's 100, 200, 300 years have passed between each story, but, any, but besides that. Uh, you also, what I was going to say was, this could be its own timeline. In other words, it's still connected to the original timeline, but it's a variant, if you guys have been watching the MCU any. Okay? But it could be its own story, in a sense. I'm hoping they do it right. Just like with the Super Mario Brothers film. Now, uh, I'll tell you this, when, when we heard about it originally, we were we were skeptical Skeptic. about it. Alright? Don't get your own... Uh, Kids just don't say one. We actually love the original '93 film. It, it it is cheesy, bad. It's '93. It's '90s goodness. Okay, we love it. All right. We know it's not a full faithful adaptation, but uh, it's a fun ride. Yes. The but it's the just super a, just a good good popcorn. But the Super Mario Brother this year, what well, you know, it's done by Illumination. Nintendo worked very close on it. Everybody, we thoroughly enjoyed it. That is that movie is just. Yeah, we haven't watched it again yet. I got it on DVD, Blu-ray, and you know, you know watch oh, it yeah. again. I enjoy. <laughs> I I thoroughly. Yeah, we drug your mother, so she she enjoyed it. Yeah, I know. My mom never uh, does stuff like no. that. Oh, Holy crap! Was away. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little worried about that in a lot of sense because, you know, how are they going to do it? I would prefer it to be animated, just because it it would have been easier to feel with uh I guess with Super Mario but you can still have the Super Mario Brothers like cuz I know everyone wants like a Smash Brothers film but I don't see that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh well you also got to get like proper movies like of Mega Man uh and some other things you, we need to see believe it or not when you also need to see a Metroid film. Now I ain't gonna lie they do a Metroid film they better do that one right. That is what uh if you ever played Metroid, you would understand. Mm -hmm. You know, they could actually do Metroid if they do it right. They could do it in an anime uh, format. Why not? Easy. I think that one would do really good as an anime format. Mm -hmm. Get get like some really good animators, you know. Excuse me, I want to kind of bourbon a little bit. So it, it would really all depend on what Nintendo wants to do. Uh, I do I do know that they are planning on a Super Mario Brothers two movie, as you already saw from you know they're gonna have Yoshi in the next one, but supposedly they're also gonna work on a Luigi's Mansion movie. That would be cool. That would be a good release around Halloween. Uh -huh. Oh, I'd go see it too. I, yeah. Speaking of which, I need to play. Uh, I've still gotta beat Luigi Mansion three and go back and finish playing two. 
Ah. Uh, that that would that would be a good movie to show around Halloween time. Oh yeah, and then you have uh, I was trying to think. I don't know anything else coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, um, supposedly there's a Godzilla movie coming out in December called Godzilla Minus. I think it's supposed to be kind of like a retelling of the of the first movie, different universe, but you know. I'll pull up the trailer and we can decide if we want to go see it or not. I'll wait till they put it on late night TV. Yeah. I'm sorry, I got spoiled with Godzilla King of the Monsters and Kong vs. Godzilla. Kong vs. God Godzilla was was good, don't get me wrong, okay? And good that, popcorn. I know they set it up for, for another film and everything with franchise. And the first Godzilla movie was good. Um... King of the Monsters was still the best one so far. Yeah. I felt like an original old 1960s Godzilla movie. Oh, I still remember we were what, watching uh, Endgame, and that was like the, the last trailer before yeah. Endgame started. And I, you know, it had what it was, a Somewhere Over the Rainbow yeah. trailer played, and you saw everyone kind of like, oh, I got to go see this. I mean, the whole, everyone, our, our theater was packed. And everyone got quiet. It's like, okay, why is it why is it over the rainbow for this movie? And the guy who edited that, I'll say it. I've said it a couple times on this podcast. That guy, I hope he got a raise because I think that's what sold that movie. Uh, that was smart. Uh, so one thing that released today, everybody, which I was uber excited about, probably the highlight of our day so far. Uh, well, I should say yesterday. Link will be, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, we actually linked the, the link to the trailer on the Facebook page. But there will be a link in the description down below. If you look at uh, for the description here on this podcast, there will be a link below to the exact site. And that is the new Ghostbusters uh, film trailer. Now, as you guys know, it was codenamed Firehouse while they were filming it. Well, it was supposed to come out in December, but because of some things going on... Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Ow. Um, it's being released in spring. That do a strike and everything else. Yeah. So, uh, it is the official title, everybody. It's Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Uh... You gonna say something? Go for it. Yeah, I was gonna say it. The trailer was really good in that the whole the whole thing, the way it was presented, the way it came across, it reminded me of I guess some stuff out of as far back as the nineteen seventies. Had a little darkness to it, which is fine. Ghostbusters they always kinda of make it trying to make it happy go lucky but eh, there's sometimes some of those creatures are not exactly nice well even the original you know the real ghostbusters cartoon there was a couple of i mean yeah it was happy go lucky but the, those monsters were like end of the world you know yeah. type i mean they had a cthulhu monster in one episode and egon sat there and as soon as it rose he said full I'm yelling full stream now hitting it because that that was something like Egon knew, was like, if we don't, you know... If we don't nip this in the bud, uh, we're going to get nipped in the bud. Right. Uh, but... Oh, excuse me. Made Gozer look like a pushover. Yeah, Gozer, yeah, it actually did. I mean, Gozer was... Don't get me wrong, was, was a big baddie, but this one... It almost seems like Gozer... In, I, I'm using this poem, was just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. If you've seen the trailer... Yeah. The trailer, everybody, starts off really good. It talks, It's supposed to be set in the summertime, uh, July, which is really hot all, all over the United States, everybody. That's one of the hottest months. But it's basically, and it's funny, is it has the, the old song, Cool Summer, going on. And that's funny. That is, that's good editing right there. And you see people on the beach enjoying the beach. Uh, you kind of see, I think that was Coney Island. Is what, Probably, yeah. And I was like, okay, people are enjoying the beach. What's going to happen? You know, and all of a sudden you see a storm roll in. Things are starting to shut down like the Ferris wheel. And all of a sudden the Ferris wheel starts icing over. And like, holy crap. And you see ice spikes. Now, I ain't this talking about like 
I was thinking it was hell at first. I was like, okay, it's it's like hell. But no, I'm mean, we're talking about ice spikes like from a video game, like landing on the ground, and they're sitting there like, oh crap, uh, ice spikes coming up from the ground and everything. Now, uh, they explain that this is oh, it's called the uh, uh, like the cold death or or something like that. Oh, I can't remember like the death cold. Mm -hmm. Basically, you freeze from the inside out, and it uses fear to, to kill you. And it, they actually sit there and say, like, over 60 people died from being frozen to death uh, in the middle of July. So, I mean, this is also the first Ghostbuster film, I, I think, in memory, besides Afterlife. Because, you know, Afterlife, you know, Egon did pass away, okay? Mm -hmm. But not only that, you also saw that one guy get, like, ripped in half when he got brought back to life. Mm-hmm. Uh, he deserves. Sorry about the hiccup, everybody. Battery died. Had to switch it out real quick. Uh, that's why I got to get another, uh, another set so I can make sure we fully charge the batteries. Um, yeah, the, the guy I was gonna say was in Afterlife. He was like, I was gonna rule beside you, Gozer, and everything. Who got ripped in half? He yeah. was the he was the mayor that built all the structures in New York for Gozer in the first film. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, he's supposedly the villain in the uh, video game on the PlayStation 3. Really? Yep. Interesting. Yeah, i got to play through that. Uh, I'll let you see it. Uh, so, but yeah, the, 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 you know, I think besides those two deaths, this is the first time they actually mention people die in the Ghostbuster films. That's why I say it's kind of dark. But it's a dark in a sense where you could go see it. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's putting, not over the top. Nuh uh. And, you know, I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with the, any of the other ghosts or anything because they didn't show anything, which that's fine. But that, that you know, they kind of showed the hints of the of the main baddie, and he looks kind of menacing. I mean, he. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Ain't nobody want to mess with him. So. They sure packed him. A proton pack. I, I was hoping you would say that. Uh. So it looks like the original, the surviving members of the original cast are going to be in it. Uh, uh, you have the cast from Afterlife is going to be there, so that's really good because I mean they were all good. They're supposed to be the the next generation. Whether this is eventually going to lead up into um, any characters, which I know people want from the Extreme Ghostbusters cartoon showing up, I don't know. I highly doubt that unless they just introduce them like. In the, in the next film or something, you know. Uh, well, they could do a spinoff and then they move out west or whatever. Or down south. Just yeah. don't move. Just don't, oh, of course, they move down south. So we already know where we'll go. We'll go one or two places. Miami. New Orleans. I was, th I was thinking Atlanta. No, New Orleans. I said, yeah, no, you're right, New Orleans. Nothing Atlanta. There's, there's more Miami than Atlanta as far as ghosty and goblins and all that. I don't know. I'll try for the uh, one in uh, New Orleans. I wouldn't care if I had to go to New Orleans for a couple, uh, you know, a couple about two or three months to shoot uh, Ghostbusters New Orleans or Ghostbusters Bayou. There's some good eat places down there. I don't know. I've been to New Orleans twice yeah. uh, on college stuff. Yeah, good eat places. So, I don't know, the trailer looks really good. I'm really excited for it. I, I mean. You need, you need to look it up. Yeah. Like I said, link in the description, everybody, or you can find it on, on our Facebook page. Uh, the, you know, Nerds with a Cause, that's all you have to do. You, it'll, it'll be the second post uh, underneath this podcast, you know, the first one underneath this podcast. But, yeah, I, I think Sony is, I'm glad they're embracing Ghostbusters more. Uh, it's it's one of those franchises, everybody from the 80s, that... Transitioned. Yeah, no, it transitioned very well. And there's a cult following for it. I mean... You, you think? I mean, you still got the cartoon, the original cartoon, everybody, oh, which is on the official Ghostbuster page on YouTube. It is legal to watch it. Sony has allowed for it to be on there. It's also got the sequel series Extreme Ghostbusters on there also. Um, well, there's Ghostbuster clubs all over. 
yeah, and they're, they they do charity fundraisers and everything. Uh, but I mean, it's it's a good family franchise that can just you know continue on. Now, uh, I'm hoping this film releases at a at a in order why I say I hope it releases at a low month. I think they're going to release it in March. I'm kind of hoping they do, so you don't have to deal with any films like in any Marvel films you have to deal with. You know, it's stuff that usually comes out in the springtime. Right. So I'm thinking it's probably going. To, I, I, yeah, it's been towards the end of winter. Right. Because I know what. No, I'm thinking interesting. Well, I mean, the only other thing I can think of right now, uh, I don't know anything about the Deadpool movie or any or anything like that. Uh, you okay? Uh, when that's going to be released, I think they're, I think they pushed it to May. Uh, it might go to July, depending on how the writer strike is going. Uh, but. Yeah, I'm hoping it releases at a good time where there's nothing super major blockbuster to hurt it. Um, if it gets two weeks under its belt, it'll take off. Yeah. Well, because people go see it like two times, two to three times. You know, oh. I know people who went and saw like Afterlife like three or four times because they they really enjoyed the movie. Uh, like our theater was packed too. Yeah. And we went to the seven o'clock showing. Yeah. And what's funny is that the, the, the people in the movie theater is kind of like, this is like the only, you know, like all the other, like literally like all the, the other venues only like three, four, five, maybe 10 people. Yeah. He sat there said that the next showings are packed. When, yeah. we, when we got out, I mean, there, there was people lined up ready to go see it, you know, was it good? Oh, it was worth it. I'm not going to spoil anything. You might cry. That's about it. Uh, that's the only thing. No, no spoilers. Yeah, that's the only thing. We, we just warn people that, that, that you, see, you might cry. That was it. Uh, yeah, I remember you said that to one couple and the guy's girlfriend punched him in the ribs. Told you so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh. What? I wasn't going to spoil it. So I was like, well, you, I understand. If you're a ghost special fan, you're probably going to cry on on this film, you know. Not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else going uh, coming out. I don't know any films, really, uh, besides the Marvels and Ghostbusters. Not that we've heard of. No, this, this SAG thing is really, you know. Ooh, what are you talking about? Pulling down more. Woo. I mean, I mean, you, I, you know, I, I think that's also the reason why you got things like, um, <clears throat> uh, I think that's the reason why also, like, Cartoon Network is pulling out like older stuff to fill up what, what used to be their new stuff slots. No, I, I'm, I'm serious, well, everybody. No, I, I, I agree with you. But some of this new stuff are coming out where they can, they can leave it in the can, in my opinion. Well, you know, they got like four hours on adult, you know, like they extend adult swim for four, like for two hours. Yeah. But it's really, all it is, everybody, it's like a four, it's a two hour block of like cartoon, cartoon stuff, like stuff from the late 90s, early 2000s, like yeah. Destro's Laboratory, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Billy and Mandy, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Okay. And, uh,. And supposedly the ratings when those things uh, are on is through the roof. Yeah, well, people are tired of this new stuff. It's just not funny. I mean, th yeah. this the past decade, this stuff's not that funny. Oh, we're just going to leave it at that. Yeah. And on uh, Boomerang, everybody, like after we got through watching some Halloween, finished watching some Halloween stuff, you know, they got Scooby Doo on. Um, when we saw it. Right now, at the time of this recording, you got Flintstones on. Deathens yeah. will be on here next. Uh, they were showing, you know, I've watched some Yogi Bear cartoons. Uh, during some of those are old, too. What about when I was a child? 
Yeah, they got Top Cat on at least for 30 minutes. Oh, about to sneeze again, day. <coughs> Ow, that hurt. That hurt. So, uh, I mean, it's just going to be interesting, you know, what, what's what's going to happen there. Yeah, is there anything you want to add on? No, it's going to be interesting when the strike is over with, which way they're going to go. Well, it's going to be bad. Yeah. I think you're going to start having a lot more independent venues start popping up here uh, in yeah. the next couple of months. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe actually some new stuff that's entertaining stuff. So. Well, you heard Mark Wahlberg has talked about creating a second Hollywood. Yeah. He wants to create a second Hollywood and have it in Vegas. And he yeah. said, go back to the old ways of how Hollywood used to do stuff and everything. Also give a little more thing for the actors and everything. You know, get out of... I mean, he's got the backing of the people in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. Well, I, okay. There's enough desert land in freaking, like, Around Ve yeah Nevada, or they can sit there and build like a studio here and a studio five miles down the road, and they could be shooting films, you know, no problem. And they never cross the path. Yeah. I've had to start keeping a checklist of a specific rock formation that shows up in every western and a lot of the other stuff. Like, oh my word, that again. Yeah, it was in, it was in Transformers: Age of Extinction too. Yeah, uh, been on NCIS a couple of times. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. And, and every Western I can imagine. Speaking of Transformers, I think there's supposed to be a new Transformers film. That's why I was getting ready to ask that you brought that up. July nineteenth, uh, twenty twenty four. Transformers 1. Okay. This, it's an origin story set on Cybertron, and it's film supposed to be the relationship of um, Optimus Prime and uh, Megatron. Mm -hmm. Chris oh. Hamworth is going to be Optimus. Brian Trey Lee is going to be Megatron. Scarlett Johansson's going to be Elita One. Uh, that's Optimus' girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, Kenny Michael uh, Key is going to be Bumblebee. Lawrence Fishburne's going to be Alpha Trion. Uh, John Hamm's going to be Sentinel Prime. Cool. It's supposed to be all 100% animated. Yeah. And I'm kind of hoping it's the... It, it, I, I don't care if they have to pull it back. Well, we were going to release it in July... On the nineteenth, we got to push it back another month. I hope they, I hope the CGI is like, you know, awesome. like, hey, I want to see. I don't want, you know, like, I understand they make it more cartoon, to, you know, and I don't mind. But if they could do it in the super high detail CGI, well, yeah, I know you're thinking about that too, aren't you? Oh yeah. So. That would be cool. So everyone, if you've seen the trailer to the uh, Ghostbusters film of uh, Frozen, um. Empire. Let us know what you think in the comments and everything. Now, this is a sequel to Afterlife. So, you gotta think they, they closed the Egon story out. Uh, that was... They closed that chapter. They closed that chapter. This is a new chapter set with his uh, grandchildren, his daughter. And it does have the old cast and crew, uh, the old crew in it. But mm -hmm. it's gonna be uh, basically passing on the torch more. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Hope you guys will let us know what you think in the comment section. Uh, that's all I can think of right now. Um, I, I, yeah, that's all I can think of. So, that people don't burn. It's too dangerous. Yeah. Been fortunate nobody's been hurt or killed in Alabama. There's been a bunch of fires. A lot of stuff destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that said, everybody, have a wonderful rest of your day. We are out.